Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Saja, and I have created a delicious recipe for a dessert that I hope you're gonna enjoy. It's called phyllo cupcakes with cream cheese, strawberries, and figs. I'm using phyllo dough, which is really traditional in my culture of the Mideast, and I'm giving a new little twist on it. Let's get started. The ingredients for this recipe are Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese, now I like to mix half of the one-third and then half of the regular. I'm always counting calories. Almost everybody I know counts calories, so a little goes a long way. I'm also going to use a package of already thawed phyllo dough that I bought from my local grocer. And I'm using some fig preserves that I get in a jar. The figs give it a really nice, super sweet flavor and it goes so good with the strawberries and cream cheese. And of course, I'm using some organic frozen strawberries that are gonna blend so well with our mixture. I've also got some chopped almonds and walnuts. And I'm gonna use the zest of an orange. And you can't do this recipe without lots of butter, and I've already melted mine. So with all my ingredients here, let's get started. Now that I've got all my ingredients in my mixing bowl, I'm going to just whisk them up together so that they're all nicely incorporated. And I've already softened my cream cheese because I've left it out for a good while so that way it's nice and soft and creamy. This smells so good. The zest of the orange with the strawberries, really good. Now once these are all mixed up and incorporated, our mixture is ready to go. How easy was that? Now that we've got the mixture for our stuffing for our little pockets, I'm gonna set our bowl aside and get our phyllo dough ready. Now I've got a package of phyllo dough that I bought from the store and I've thawed it out. This is phyllo dough that you can buy in the freezer and I suggest you keep it in the freezer until you're ready to work. So let's get started. I've got my phyllo dough laid out right over here and I'm going to cut about, I would say, three or four inch squares with my whole sheets. And I've got five sheets, Now, I usually just eye it. And phyllo dough is such an easy dough to work with. The only thing is you just gotta work a little fast because it does tend to dry. So I'm gonna cut it going lengthwise. And same thing in here to get a nice square of about three or four inches. That looks about right to me. Now, these sheets gave me 12 pieces. Okay, we are ready to put in our second layer of phyllo dough. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did first time around. Just place them ever so gently into the little cupcake holders and just kind of press down firmly so that they got nice little pockets for our stuffings to go into. And I'm just using my fingers and pressing firmly down. The beautiful thing about phyllo dough, it's really easy to work with. It's a very giving dough, and you can shape and mold it any which shape or any which way you like. So I'm just putting my second layer in and pressing firmly into the bottom of our first layer. Now we're gonna butter these guys as well, and then we're gonna put them in the oven and I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees, and I'm gonna bake these guys until they're nice and crispy brown, which should be about 10, maybe 15 minutes, and I'll check on them. What we're looking for is we want them to be nice and golden brown, just like you would see in baked baklava, which is so delicious, by the way. But these guys are gonna be um, just as delicious. Now once once they're done baking, we are ready to let them cool and stuff and start having dessert. Why don't we take a look at our phyllo pockets and see how they're doing. Ooh, nice. Well, they're nice and golden brown. I hope you can see that, but I want them a little bit more extra crispy. So I'm gonna put them in the oven for another five more minutes and check on them. I'm wanting them to be really crispy and crunchy and golden brown.
Our phyllo pockets are ready to come out of the oven. Let's take a look. Beautiful. See how nice and crispy and golden brown they are? That's exactly what we were looking for. Now that our phyllo pouches have had a chance to cool down, this is the perfect time for us to stuff them with our cream cheese, strawberries, and fig stuffing. Now all I'm gonna do is take a big tablespoon of, my, of our mixture and put it into every little one of these cups. And then we're gonna decorate and it's time to enjoy these delicious desserts. Now that our phyllo pouches are stuffed with all their stuffings, I'm gonna get some sliced strawberries and just do some little food decor. In my house, we say feeding the eyes as well as the stomach. So let's have some fun. Here is our final plated dessert dish of these delicious phyllo pouches with the cream cheese, strawberries, and figs. They just look so beautiful. My mouth is watering and I can't wait to serve these to my friends and family. I've so enjoyed sharing this delicious recipe with you all and I hope you get to enjoy making it as well. Now it's time for the best part of this recipe, eating it. <laughs> Happy cooking! There's nothing else left to say. Enjoy!